What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tour for Little Freak by Harry Styles. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button. And the guitar that we're jamming on today is called an Orangewood Brooklyn Live. Orangewood is actually Guitar Goddess and I's channel sponsor this month. We've been playing this Brooklyn Live for about a year and just love it. I'm gonna have this guitar as well as all of Orangewood's other guitars linked in the description below for you guys to check out. And one last quick note before we dive in, I am teaching this song as accurately to the original song and the original picking as possible. But if you're a total beginner and wanna see a little bit more of a beginner friendly version of this song you can check this one out right up here that's my wife guitar goddess video for it it's a little bit more beginner friendly it's more chords and strum pattern instead of finger picking so check it out if you're a beginner the first thing that you want to know to play little freak on guitar is that in order to keep the song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible we're gonna capo up to third fret the next thing that you want to know to play little freak on guitar is the structure of this song we're gonna start with a verse then go to chorus then verse and chorus again, then verse and then one last chorus to take us out of the song. And the last thing that you wanna know before we dive into Little Freak is the four chords that we need to play this song. The first one is C, the next one is A minor, the next one is C over G, and the last one is F major seven. And all short chord tutorials for all those linked in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Little Freak. Guys, Little Freak is a beautiful new song from Harry Styles' new album, Harry's House. I'm really stoked to share this one with y'all. It's actually a lot easier to play on guitar than it sounds. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at for Little Freak is what we're playing for our verses. For our verses, we're gonna have one repeating chord progression, which is gonna be C, A minor, C over G, and then A minor, and C over G. You notice that those last two chords have stars next to them, and that's because we're playing those two chords for half a measure. Basically, it means we're playing those for half as long as the other non-starred chords, but really what that actually applies to is what we're playing for our picking pattern, which I'll break down for you in just a second. Really quickly before we get into our picking patterns, though, something important to know for these picking patterns is what bass notes are. A bass note is just the lowest note of whatever chord you're playing, and we'll be using them throughout this entire song for our picking patterns. So just for a quick reference for all four of our chords, on a C chord, your bass note is on the A string. On A minor, your bass note is also on the A string. For your C over G, your bass note is going to be on your low E string. And then for your F major seven, it will also be on your low E string. So keep those in mind because we'll be using them throughout the song. So with that in mind, let's start breaking down these picking patterns. So the first picking pattern we're gonna take a look at is what we're using for all of our non-starred chords. So our C, A minor, and that first C over G. Our picking pattern for those is gonna be bass note, G, high E, bass note, high E, B, G, B but quite a bit quicker for each one of those non-starred chords. So it'll actually look about like this full speed. Just about like that for all of your non-starred chords and your verse chord progression full speed. So walking through our chord progression there, that's our C chord. Going to our A minor chord, we're gonna have bass note, G, E, bass note, E, B, G, B. And then going on to that first C over G, we're gonna have bass note, G, E, bass note, E, B, G, B. And then we're on to our starred chords. And like I said, these are half measure chords that we'll be playing for half as long. So our picking pattern for those starred chords is gonna be like this. We'll use our A minor as our example. That's our first starred chord. For our starred chords, we're gonna play bass note, G, E, B, just like that. So that's our A minor. And then going to that last C over G, we've got bass note, G, E, B, just like that. And that chord progression with those two picking patterns right there is gonna repeat through all of the verses on Little Freak. So nothing too terribly crazy here, guys. Pretty straightforward chord progression and the picking pattern, even though it's a little bit fast, is actually a pretty good one for beginners who are just getting started with finger picking because it is, again, very repetitive. And it's actually a pretty standard kind of finger picking pattern as well. So if you can get this down, you can kind of play a lot of different styles of finger picking. So with that in mind, guys, a couple times through the chord progression and then the two picking patterns will be repeating throughout our verses on Little Freak will look about like this without me talking. From there, we're 
and notes being played for our choruses. For our choruses, we're gonna have one long chord progression that's only gonna play through once for each chorus, and then we're gonna have that same exact picking pattern that we just used for all of our non-starred chords in our verses. So that'll be really familiar and pretty easy if you've gotten this far. So first, let's take a look at what our chord progression for our choruses is gonna be. We're gonna start here with an F major seven that we're gonna play for two measures. Then we'll go C, and then C over G. That's that top line. That's gonna be played through two times. That whole line will be played through twice. Then we'll go on to that second line. We're gonna make one small change here. We're gonna go F major seven for two measures. And then we're gonna to go to A minor, one measure, and then C over G, one measure. That one will only play through once. And then our last line there, we just got F major seven for two measures. And then that will take us out of the chorus after you finish that last F major seven. So like I said, guys, we're going to be using that same exact picking pattern for our choruses that we use for our verses on the non-starred chords. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on that because we already went over it, but a little walkthrough of what that'll look like is about like this. We start here at the F major seven as our example. We're going to do bass note, G, E, bass note, E, B, G, B. That's going to be our picking pattern for all of the chords in our choruses. We don't have any half measures or anything like that. So that one picking pattern will be played through the whole entire chorus chord progression. And again, a little closer to full speed. Just about like that. Same deal as what we were playing with our verses. We're just switching over the chord progression for this chorus. So nothing crazy here, guys. Like I said, pretty straightforward chord progression and pretty beginner friendly picking pattern. It is again, a little fast, just like the verse one was, but no big deal guys it's just one of those deals you got to practice slow practice along with me practice along with the song you'll have it down in no time so like i said this whole chord progression only plays once through for each chorus but i'm going to go ahead and play through the whole thing twice just so that you guys have a little bit more time to play along with me and make sure you got all the right stuff in all the right places so like i said with that in mind two times through that chorus chord progression that will only play through once in the actual song will look about like this without me talking <laughs> Guys, that's everything you need to know to play Little Freak on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 950 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least two to three new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude if you want to see other cool guitar-related content or just what I'm up to in between videos. And lastly, guys, one more big shout out to Orangewood for being this much channel sponsor. Man. We just love Orange Wood and we love this Brooklyn Live. It's a really solid mid range guitar and it has built in electronics and built in tuner, which I am a huge fan of. Again, I'm gonna have this Brooklyn Live as well as all of Orange Wood's other guitars linked in the description below for you guys to check out. Guys, Little Freak is one of my favorite new songs from Harry Styles' new album, Harry's House. I just love it. It's a beautiful acoustic guitar driven song. It's also got some keys in there as well. But this song and Matilda are, I think, my two favorite kind of acoustic y, more kind of slow songs from the new album. But honestly, Michelle and I are loving the whole album. Album, so I'm really stoked to share this one and other songs from his album as well. So like I said guys, there's nothing too crazy in this song. It's a couple pretty simple chord progressions and a pretty simple picking pattern as well. The main thing about this picking pattern is tricky is just that it's kind of fast. But as with any picking patterns like this, I always suggest just kind of work on getting it down slowly and playing it correctly slowly and then work on building up your speed to play along with me and then of course play along with the original song as well. That's the best way to get it down. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.